Let's take a look at the Season of the Hunt seal. After completing all the triumphs, you'll be rewarded with the Warden title. If you are interested in the Beyond Light seal or the Raid seal, I have created videos already on those. Links to those videos will be in the description. There are 11 triumphs in total. Four of the triumphs are marked as classified or marked as unnamed entries. Like previous seasonal seals, we probably won't be able to complete this one until the end of the season. So you can take your time in completing each triumph. The first triumph is called Hive Made Monster. You have to acquire upgrades for the Cryptolith Lure. Currently, you can only get six upgrades for the Cryptolith. There's a lot of time gating this season, so we'll just have to be patient and wait for them to release the seventh upgrade. The second triumph is called Stalk and Stare Tangled Shore, and it is to defeat each Tier 2 Fallen Wrathborn on the Tangled Shore. To make the Cryptolith Lure Tier 2, for this specific triumph, you'll want to select one of the Fallen bosses, Savic and HKD1. For this mod, it doesn't really matter. And for the Strong Mutation mod, you'll want to select one. And you can tell that you have a Tier 2 by going over this and seeing that it says configured for a Tier 2 hunt. The next triumph is called Stalk and Stare Dreaming City. You have to defeat each Tier 2 Hive Wrathborn in the Dreaming City. Same thing as the last triumph here, except that you'll be choosing Dorath or Ixilox for the prey. Again, you don't have to select one here, and you can select any of the strong mutation mods. The fourth triumph is called Hunting Attire. You have to defeat Wrathborn while wearing pieces of seasonal armor. More pieces of armor grant more efficient progress. The next triumph, Tools of the Hunt, is to defeat combatants with each seasonal weapon. The SMG, the Grenade Launcher, and the Linear Fusion Rifle. The seasonal submachine gun is called Friction Fire. It's a 600 RPM archetype, just like the Iclos SMG, but this one's kinetic. The grenade launcher is called Deafening Whisper, and the linear fusion rifle is Corsair's Wrath. And these can be earned from rewards and drops. The sixth triumph is called One Shrew Calling, and this is earned by defeating combatants with each season pass weapon, the scout rifle, and the heavy grenade launcher. The scout rifle is called the Royal Chase, and the grenade launcher is called Crowd Pleaser. The seventh triumph is called Renaissance Hunter. You have to hone your skills with the seasonal weaponry, defeat combatants at close range with the submachine gun, rapidly defeat combatants with the grenade launcher, and deal precision final blows with the linear fusion rifle. So the previous seven triumphs are viewable in game. These next four triumphs are not. So the eighth triumph is an unnamed entry. To complete this triumph, you'll have to complete a mission. I believe this will be like the interference mission we had to wait for last in Season of Arrivals. So this is, might happen at the end of the season, but we'll have to wait and see. The next three triumphs are both related to an exotic quest. I believe the unnamed entry one is the Hawkmoon quest, which should be coming out soon. And the other two are classified. They may be related also to Hawkmoon, or there might be another secret exotic quest in Season of the Hunt. On December 15th, it is expected that there will be two classified ornaments in the Eververse store for silver. There are two ornaments for Hawkmoon this season. So this is the week that Hawkmoon should be released, or the week before it. So expect around those two weeks for the Hawkmoon quest. These have been the 11 triumphs that you'll have to complete in order to unlock the season of the Hunt Seal. Keep an eye on the comments section, because when one of the classified triumphs is released, I'll post it there. As always, thanks for watching my Destiny video.